Welcome to Animal Kingdom, if you can't tell by the tree of life behind <laughs> us. We're here on a Friday before we set back to St. Louis to have a um, nice little early dinner at 425 for our first time at? Tiffin's, our first time, yeah. So we have everywhere at Hollywood Studios. We would like to get all the sit-downs here at Animal Kingdom next. Maybe. Yep, so we've been to the Nomad Lounge several times for the evening for uh, appetizers and drinks, but first time at Tiffin's itself. So come along with us. We're gonna get some photos from our uh, Run Disney with our medal and see what kind of rides we get before and after dinner. Sounds great, so give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Let's go and see what happens. Yay. Hello, Russell. We wanted to celebrate. We just yeah. did your race and it was fantastic. So we just wanted to celebrate with you today. Yeah. We did. We yep. did. Well, and the little balloons go up. Not, well, and a lot of balloons. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're good. Good, thank you, and we enjoyed your race. So you'll have to like, do another sponsor another race next year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. All right, bye bye. <laughs> awesome. <you>. Bye. <laughs> All right, we have a 95 minute standby for Navi River, so we're not sure we will do that. But you gotta show this. I mean, how cool, right? Oh, you can feel the mist coming off this thing. It's like cooling us down. All right, well, let's hang here for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> So, cool, in more ways than one. All right, onward, I guess. Yeah, we'll onward. keep moving. 95 for um, Navi River is a bit much. Yeah, that would cut into our much. reservation. Yep. I don't believe we've ever been on this path before, but it does connect Pandora with Africa. So. Yeah. And it's a nice little shady path. Totally in. shaded. got some water to look at. Yeah, this park does get a rep for, they say it's the hottest park. I disagree. I think it has plenty of shade. You just gotta get to the shade areas. And here's a good example. Lots and lots of shade. This is all shade. And a lot of water to keep things cool. Oh, we've never done the show back here, but it looks very nice. <laughs> oh. oh gosh. Oh, he's taking away the bottle. Oh. Huh. Flight. My name is TJ. My name is Josh. First, just like all the ones that you've seen and so many more, they have been sharing their story in this theater for almost well, over 26 years now. Yeah, 26 years and like six days we've been doing a bird show here. And it's the coolest thing we get to do because we work with some amazing birds from all around the world. And we just hope that you all leave this theater appreciating the natural world just as much as we do. Yeah, absolutely. We hope to show off what these birds do in nature. So this bird right here, this is Harvey. Harvey is what's called a trumpet or hornbill. Amazing flyer, as he's showing you. But we'd like your help. Josh is heading to the back. We'd like all of you to become the Forest of Africa. But we need two volunteers, two people who came together, who'd like to stand up, putting their arms together in a big hoop, getting uncomfortably close to Harvey, to Josh. Hi, Harvey. Remember me? We worked together. There we go. Alright, now, 10, 8, do it, this is awesome. Alright. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> that was sweet. That was awesome. Thank you so much to our church. Back to the seat. And he is going to fly right into our roll 
volunteer. Check that out. And then he takes your money. And then he puts it where it belongs. No, my dad jokes aren't that bad. Okay, okay uh, hey, everybody, uh, Chris Kidd, for those of you that can't see, there's oh another chicken out of the Did you look these chickens up? Uh, is it okay. Weird, <laughs> but okay. Hey, Chris Kidd, I don't know if you heard, buddy. There's an owl coming. You have so much to live for. <laughs> Tristan, here. Oh man, it's the all the way here. All hey, you in the back, the bleachers that just see people's heads moving. As oh, there's a big pile of popcorn right down there. See, you have this one for a long haul. So he is showing off because he did so well. Check it out. Pretty amazing. They sound like a bunch of people who are like, whoa, as they fly. No. They are nighttime ambush predators, but not known for their speed. They're going to sit up high, just like he was doing over there and on this side now, and blend in with the trees and wait for something that looks delicious down below. Now at that point, when he sees something, they have this nearly silent flight ability, which is really cool. Specialized feathers that are along his wings. So, here, one more flight up the stage. He's going to swoop on down whenever he sees whatever he wants to eat. He's going to nab it with those talented feet of theirs. Um, on top of that, they have some of the keenest here in the entire animal kingdom. There are any uh, pet hunters out there, and every time that your dog barks, and then you go. Mm. <laughs> That's good, right? But no matter where I go, Lady Toby's going to be untying my shoes now. Oh, look at her, look at her go. He's just caught. He's like a holiday bird back. Oh, come here, she lays Oh, come on, just eat. Look at her. This was new to us, never seen the show before, but I think I would see it again. Why not? And nice and cool under here. And the wait times are really high, so. Andrew's favorite, the flamingos. <laughs> and they look like they've had some shrimp. Yeah, they're nice and pink. Aww. Oh, it's this nap right time. Here, number 42. Mm -hmm. That's actually Sandy. She's our youngest. Oh. You still see some of her baby hairs on her neck, that gray. And then this fully white one right in front of us, that's actually Pinkerbell. Pinkerbell? Hmm. Oh. He is our oldest flamingo. He's around 43 years old. Holy moly. They're beautiful. I love them. 
<laughs> Very cool. On these walls, we have some more photographs and artworks from those travels. We're heading into our grand gallery, which is my favorite. Wow, look at it, and he's like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. Wow. 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 We're at Tiffin's for the first time. Yes. Very fancy. And they actually took us 25 minutes early. Our reservation was at 425, and as soon as we checked in, we just got here. There we go. But look how fancy the napkin is. It's a linen napkin with the Tiffin's. And then all the wall art everywhere is like really cool. Andy in there probably has a really good view. Yeah. Andy got the looking out view at the contain oh, last cantina. Night. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So we're trading. Andrea gets to look out this time. It's cold. <laughs> All right, so I got a Cabernet flight. He said it starts lighter to bolder, uh, but that's like Mendoza. I could tell you that much. One of them was really high elevation. You remember that country? I think the middle one, I don't remember. Okay. I can't remember the other two, but I do have the Mendoza one down. But it's a, yeah, Cabernet flight. And then it comes with a little uh, flatbread. With a little yogurt a, um, avocado dip, it looks like. Yep. Holy cow. We have surf and turf, but that's like a tenderloin, nice hot plate, uh, scallops. I mean, how awesome is that? And we got the little flight to go with it. Even your peas are laid out lovely. Fancily, yep. Mm -hmm. And yours looks lovely, Szechuan noodles. Yes, and it also has, there's eggplant and a mixture of corn and other vegetables so mm, that's awesome. i'm excited all right i'm gonna have to dig in and let you all know on this one okay so the filet mignon is really good it has a demi glaze sauce that's be one of the better pork filets i ever had but the star so far might be the scallop oh it cuts like butter So this for sure I could tell you is the best scallop I've ever had. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and the filet is like yeah, really good. Cooked medium. So this is pricey, but I got a couple of gift cards. <laughs> so I recommend it. And my noodles do have a little kick to them, a little zing, but not too bad. And let's see, I haven't gotten into the eggplant yet, but the noodles and the vegetables are lovely. And I did try some of the Andy steak and scallop, and I actually liked both of them, and I'm not a steak person, <laughs> so that's saying a lot. But so far, so good. So we do watch a lot of uh, Gordon Ramsay shows, and this has to be the best cooked scallops I've ever seen or have. But perfect color on each side, and then they're like they're like butter. So if you like a good scallop, I don't think you could get a better one. It's like amazing. All right, so we're getting the coffee press, and this is a special shade bearing. Oh, this is a special shade bearing coffee. Peruvian. Cheers. Pinky's up. Oh, nice. Oh, that's lovely. It's smooth. It is smooth and light. Oh, okay. I like that. Very good. And he just pressed down the plunger there, so I didn't get to show that. But it's a French pot, uh, French press coffee pot. Dessert has arrived. Look at this. It's supposed to have a little cayenne pepper, so it's supposed to have like a little kick to it. And then there's like it's all like chocolate. Yep. Something right here. And we have our little French oh. press coffee pot to go with it. It's like a citrusy 
something or other. Alright, well, let's get this logo. Layers of chocolate. A little chocolate dust, chocolate icing. Yeah, that's very nice. I like this too. And then you right. got like a spear or chocolate <laughs> ring. So we'll save a little kick of cayenne starting to come through. Not too bad though. Maybe it's in the powder. Or yeah, I just took this is nice. I like that. Tiny bite, and I don't have it yet. Hmm. Just wait. All right, exiting. Oh, here's the other room right here. Oh, that does look cool. Oh, it's a little tree in the corner. So we were told that these are pictures that Joe Rody took on his trip. Oh, cool. Oh, we are done. I am done in full, full, full. Yes, well, we had a lovely meal. We both liked each other, so I think we had two winners. And then we did get the French press pot of coffee. The dessert was a little too chocolatey for me, but Andy, I think you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, and the coffee went well with it. Um, but. As our server was saying, this is like high, very high quality, all the entrees, and I would agree with that. It's very pricey, but very high quality. It was, yeah, it was worth it. Cool. Yeah. So, we it, would go here again. So, it may be a while before we come again. But yes, it may be a while. We may have to, like, save up some more good cards. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, very good. Okay, so unfortunately, we're not going to get a ride in. Uh, like, Rapids is 60... Safari 25, I mean, that's not bad. But Navi River 70. Look at that. Ex Expedition Ever 65 minutes. Well, it's so, because it was closed down most of the day, so now yeah. everybody's trying to get on the right. So, Andrea, I think we're just going to call it here. Yeah, uh, so. Gonna head home. Yeah, we just have one more day here, which we are going to show you tomorrow uh, Typhoon Lagoon and all the food and snacks there as well. And then head on back to St. Louis for a little bit. Back to St. Louis and then back here again in June. Yep, so I hope you enjoyed our time here at Animal Kingdom. And we will see you on our next adventure. Right, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.